Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough! This is part 16.5 and as with the other .5 parts of catching up, I've got this sort of deck here, but I made one little tweak to it compared to the last .5 part. One less Rattata, one more Hungry Snorlax because you're guaranteed to get the Hungry Snorlax, so I thought that would be a, a fun addition and plus I've got enough 1 for 20s. So yeah. <laughs> Uh, now we're gonna go over to the challenge hall, instead of over to the next forts, like I did in the main main parts, because... Yep, the first GR Challenge Cup is going on right now at this point, so don't battle anyone else! Don't! Stop, don't, don't! Just come here, save your game, and go through the Challenge Cup, okay? Okay. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get it started. We are currently accepting new entrants of the GR Challenge Cup. Defeat cleared players in a row, you win a wonderful card. This cup, this, this cup's prize is a rare Dark Persian level 28 card, exclusive to the GR Challenge Hall Tournament dealio. So you can get it guaranteed at this moment in time here, because the tournament happens guaranteed at this moment in time, as is this prize. So. The first two matches are with four prize cards. Lose once in your row. Will you be our next challenger in this thrilling competition? Yeah, let's go up on that stage. Our champion remains undefeated and may soon win the GR Challenge Cup. You've done well surviving this long, Melissa. Here's our next challenger, Mint. Let's see. If my information is correct, Mint is Team GR's rival. Well, sort of, kind of. <laughs> Are you both ready? Please the four prize cards first. Now then, start the competition! Insect Collector deck! Remember her? Yep, yep, yep. Grass place? Yep, yep, yep. Let's beat her again. <laughs> um, it's like I'm gonna have to lead with Bulbasaur here. And go all of the turn. See, I can get Parasect set up on the side with its slash. But in the mean, well, I mean, I was gonna say in the meantime, I could just use Bulbasaur. It'd be nice if I was going first, but you know, you know, luck of the draw with the coin flip after all. And Meowth, at number two row, Leaf. Wait, you didn't attach that to? Why didn't you? You don't want to coin hurl me? Interesting. Interesting. Well, I'm gonna tackle. <laughs> I'll, I guess I'll go for the Razor Leaf then instead of going straight to. Uh, Starting into the whole Parasect setup, then. Uh, or, oh, no, oh, I see. I see what you're setting up for. Like a double evolution dealio going on here at the Poison Claw Surprise. Perhaps to run me out of energy. Ah, uh, wait, actually. Hold on a sec. Do I want to use Defender then? I don't. That wouldn't. That would only prevent 10 damage. Eh, Razor Leaf. <laughs> Save the Defender. For the incoming Parasect, or maybe Paris, depending on the situation. So, Dark. Okay, that wasn't your plan. What are you. <laughs> what are you doing, Missy? Okay, let's get Parasect going here. I should actually plop that on there in general. It's Surely it's not the Tornado Gust that you're aiming for, is it? I, I mean, I guess it could be, but. Uh, well, hold on a second. Uh the damage before switching the Pokemon. Okay, so I'm gonna put Defender on Bulbasaur then, and <laughs> Razor Leaf, Dark Persian, because yeah, the damage was going on to my Paris, so I would've put Defender on that, and yeah, it looks like this is what she, her plan was. That was not her plan! <laughs> I feel like I'm the only one making the best moves right now. Alright, Razor Leaf. Uh, maybe she just ran out of energy, but even so, that... She, if, if, she, because if she wouldn't have put one on the Melf slash Persian, then, oh well, I don't know. <laughs> now she's, now she's kind of putting energy on something else because she's kind of stuck in this regard. And I'll just get another prize card because yeah, she could have tornado gusted me, did a little bit of damage, but then I would have just easily retaliated with the Parasect anyway. So yeah, oh 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 oh, oh, oh okay, this was her play. <laughs> I don't know really. <laughs> All right, the Parasect. So, Defender didn't really do much, unless maybe I've ruined their plan with the Defender, I don't know. I'm, I'm just trying to think of what she might be thinking of, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, Slash, if only I had a plus power. If only I had a plus power. Maybe later, though. <laughs> Ooh, hungry. 
Might as well get that bad boy pot. Oh! I tapped too many times. Oh, I was gonna say I might as well get that bad boy powered up, but not for three more turns now. <laughs> Another Paris. Uh, that Venomoth is not really. Uh, what? What? You're not even attacking with the why? Is it because I can attack Catter? But it's still two attacks to knock out Cat. I have no idea what she's doing. <laughs> Slash. <laughs> and and the turn maybe she maybe she's gonna use the tornado gust when Venomoth is in trouble, like now? No? <laughs> what is she doing? <laughs> oh, just slash. <laughs> I don't think she's ever gonna win this at this way. <laughs> I didn't even bother putting an energy card on Hungry Snorlax because I'm not really seeing a uh, a major threat coming for her right now based on how the AI is working for whatever reason. Oh jeez, actually maybe I should put something on the uh, Hungry Stuff. <laughs> just, just in case. And now she's gonna be forced to switch Caterpie. I think. Unless she's running out of HP. Yeah, I guess. Oh yeah, that's right. All of her Pokemon have taken at least 30 points of damage, so... Yeah! So that's game over, because see, yep, 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 I've been slashing away or razor leafing away both sharp objects, and victory! <laughs> I don't, what were you doing, Melissa? How are you the, the, the champion of the other tournaments? <laughs> Let's try again in our next challenge. Oh man, I don't know how I lost! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're all set for our next card battle. Next challenger, please come up on the stage. It's Melissa again. Oh no. <laughs> it's like, yeah, clones, that's all she wins. Um, I would like to change my deck. By change my deck, I mean save my game, if you don't mind. So, alright. And, <laughs> now ready, let's start the match. Walking Toxins deck. Yeah, I do believe they have identical sprites, so that's... Kind of a funny coincidence. Um, ooh. I don't have any more basics. I hope I draw some. I do have a lot of basics in this deck, so I probably will, but Bulbasaur doesn't have that many that much HP. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Bulbasaur does not have that much HP, so... Uh, um, yeah, I think this is going to work out nicely, because it's going to actually take her two turns to get powered up. And I got the plus power to wipe out the Ekans along with her energy card. Then I'm gonna basically do the same thing in, you know, in sort of a way. In that I'm gonna energy removal it instead of the plus power. Because, you know, it'll stall it out from being able to get to that poison. And yeah. It's, it's kind of a very similar turn offset, though the damage is slightly different. It's just that the math all ends up being the same amount of turns, you know what I mean? Uh, she will get some basic Pokemon out of this, I'm sure. Yeah! <laughs> That's too bad for me. But alas, alas, I have energy removal anyway! <laughs> um, put that on the other Bulbasaur. I've got the water energy for the slapping if need be, so... Uh, she's probably got a bunch of energy as well, thanks to the Professor Oak, but... Oh, she got the coughing this time, okay. I was gonna say, uh, but if she puts it on Ekans, that'd be kind of a waste of an energy. Yeah, she's probably gonna go for the poison gas. So I'll put that on Staryu. I guess I could put that wait, hold on a sec. Hold hold on. Should I gust of wind and knock out the coughing? I mean uh, excuse me, damage the coughing? Because then that would put both of them in range of the slap. You know what I mean? Gust of wind and the coughing. Again, here's here's where math comes into play. So now it's ten away from a knockout. The other one is twenty away from a knockout. She'll probably go for the poison gas and knock out Bulbasaur, but then I'll retaliate with the Staryu, and then finish off the Ekans with another Staryu slap. How does that sound? <laughs> now I won't have to worry about any sort of poison on my Staryu as well. Well, actually, well maybe not. I shouldn't say that because she's got the uh, the Ekans here, and well, it's not it doesn't have an energy, but. It, yeah, <laughs> never mind, I was going to say, uh, she powers it up, but eh, eh, I think I'm in good, decent control here, so. 
<laughs> I, I would say that this is a uh, lost cause for her, too, and she's gonna have to retreat, I would say. Really? You're not gonna... I mean, I guess that makes sense, because the, uh... Um... It, it's like a turnstall of sorts, and I just dumped everything on my hand so I could use Professor Oak there. Uh, but yeah, I, I, I don't have... I mean, I'm not down to my last prize card, so she can afford to do that, but letting me get her down to one prize... I mean, get, get myself down to one prize card is kind of risky, so that's why I thought she would have switched, but... Well, okay. Man, I'm just getting all the draws. <laughs> uh, probably should save Double Cuddleless for a hungry Snorlax or something like that. I don't know. Uh, wait, actually... Yeah, I think I will go for the Seeking... Wait, wait, should... Uh, yeah, I will. Just, you know, later on I'll go for it, but... Slap for now. <laughs> and then she's got all the Grimer left. So that'll be relatively simple to knock out, even with the sticky hands, because it's coin flip based. And yeah, well, I mean, I guess she got the be better result there, but then I'm, then I'm gonna end up with the uh, seeking after that, and yeah, yeah, plus power as well. So it didn't really much matter there anyway. <laughs> so it's like, um, if she caused paralysis, I wouldn't be able to switch, but then if. She did, I wouldn't, yeah, I mean, if I, if she, if, excuse me, if she didn't, I would be able to switch into that Seeking that I was preparing for. Ah, it didn't much matter. We get the plus power, we get the waterfall, and we call it a game. And that is victory number two. Don't get overconfident, though, and remember to save your game, because your deck can brick at any time. <laughs> And it's over! Mint, you've claimed your second victory! With one more win, you'll be our new champion! But bad luck, Liz. Please try again next time. <laughs> well, will this battle be the last for Mint, or... Allow us to introduce our next opponent, Melissa! No! <laughs> We're back to our next challenger, we'll stop the streak. Next challenger, please come on stage! It's Chip! Woo! Mint, would you like to modify? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> just the case. No need for a uh, full electric deck this time. No sort of forced rule like that. We can use our deck to their absolute fullest against Chip, so... Yep. This should be a decent win. <laughs> or should say a simple win. Uh, wait, what? Oh, uh, ooh, uh, ooh. Ooh, maybe not. Mmm, <laughs> Bulbasaur, Staryu, I guess. I decided not to put the Staryu off because he uses lightning Pokemon and double damage. He could have Speedball Voltorb. Uh, that's going to take him a while to power up. <laughs> I mean, once he does, it'll be pretty powerful, but energy removal is going to kind of put a little damper on things. Golden Gust of Wind. Um, uh, well, I, I could just start nicking away with the Tackle, but... I don't really have anything that's... I mean, I, you, know, you know, I don't want to waste the double colorless. Maybe this won't be as simple as I thought! <laughs> um... Hmm... Yeah, I might just have to start nicking away with the... Uh, double colorless that way, but it's not ideal. Plop! <laughs> and yeah, attack, attack, but yeah, there's just nine attacks to knock it out, so... He will definitely be able to power it up in time at that rate, but, uh... Well, assuming that he gets more energy cards uh, than he has, because, you know, you think of the opening hand of how many cards you get in your opening hand and the like. Yeah, I'm kind of kind of stuck here, unfortunately. <laughs> that's... that's kind of bad. Oh, no. Oh, no, he could do the sweeper. Uh, seeking. I could... whoops, I could put that in play in general. Yeah, they forgot to put the Goldeen in play. Uh, yeah, I'm just keep nicking. <laughs> Might as well. Uh, oh man, oh man. Oh, and that, you know, actually, uh, that thunder? Yeah, it might actually damage itself. And if he uses Thunderbolt, he can only use that once. Probably through the whole game. So, yeah. Um, I'm gonna put a little pressure on him. Put it to Staryu with the plus power, because that'll put him in range with the uh, 
uh, thunder, because, you know, you can do 30 damage to himself. Ah! <laughs> Let's see if he uses that or just goes for the thunderbolt. We shall see. Uh, I, I mean, I, I'm not sure I would go for either attack, in all honesty, because he either sucks up all his energy cards, or he might knock himself out, and that's his ace. Oh, too bad! <laughs> sure, sure, you do a lot of damage to me, but I set you up for your own knockout. Uh, uh... Bulbasaur, I guess, because it's colorless energy. Uh, gust of Wind... Well... I could force him s force switch him into the other Zapdos, just to mess with his energy, but... Um... I don't know. As of Hiccup, excuse me, as of right now, I kind of am stuck. At least until I get some more draw power, probably. Uh, flying Pikachu, interesting, interesting. And that doesn't make a much of a difference, even if you cause paralysis, I'd say, at this moment in time. You know, it'd be kind of funny if you just self-destructed anyway. <laughs> uh, I guess... Oh yeah, I keep forgetting. <laughs> and I put Paris in play with Bulbasaur. I'm trying to avoid water Pokemon if I can. Obviously, you know, lightning stuff, so. And I use my double colorless, because I, yeah, uh, tried to attack with the Bulbasaur. That that actually kind of worked out, just based on the progression of things. And magnetic lines. That's kind of not going to move any energy cards, because there's no energy cards going on, but, yeah, well. Alright. And. Hmm, put the other Bulbasaur in play. Uh, yeah, I'm still kind of bricking here, unfortunately. Mm. Mm. So I'm just gonna keep nicking away with that Dark Magneton while I keep hoping I get my stuff. Yeah, Spiral is not helpful at all. Yeah, where's my energy cards in this? I mean, I've, I've drawn so many cards with all the stalling, and it's like nothing is coming up. <laughs> very, very unfortunate. Alright, Paris. I suppose that, yep, yeah, no energy cards again. And you know I have them in this deck, so. Uh uh. <laughs> and you know, I need, at this point, I'm in uh, quite a pickle because there is a. Still no energy cards, so I'm gonna gust of wind into said Zapdos and call it a turn. But you know, he'll be able to probably power that up before I'm able to get anything else off the ground, so. Uh, I gotta guess. To seeking, I suppose, and call it a turn. Yeah, I can't, I can't even switch Paris because of the odd lack of energy. But yeah, all he needs is two more lightning energy. Oh, Professor Oak. Okay, we might we might have something now. Okay. <laughs> um. Oh, maybe I should have started putting stuff. No, maybe not. I was to say maybe I should have started putting stuff in play because of the. Um. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna. It's the same retreat cost for Parasect anyway. And I'm gonna do Trader with the, one of the Goldines to pull out. If it's in here, yes. Hungry Snorlax! You're my only hope! I think. <laughs> and Professor Oak. So, we got, we got kind of an odd situation here. Yeah, yeah, Bill, please. And Paris, Rattata, Bill, but at least I'm getting energy now. <laughs> we're, running a lot, we're running out of cards in the deck, we better get energy. And Water, Spiro. Okay. I think I'm actually going to power up the uh, Seeking first. And call it a turn. I, I hope he doesn't have, uh, I was going to say, I hope he doesn't have more uh, lightning. Ah, what, what, never, oh. Wait a second! You could have won there, couldn't you? Yeah, energy bomb. Ah, uh, you giving me mercy here, Mister. <laughs> uh, put that on there and yeah, retreat into is hungry, I suppose. And oh yeah, that's right, poopers, poopers. Done. <laughs> yeah, it's all because of a. Uh, 
early game issue with energy, so yes. Oh, maybe because you don't want to move your energy around with energy bomb, but that still would have been a win for you, so that's not really a, a wise decision there. You know, I'm going to eat, so maybe I'll actually be able to uh, set up a victory then because of bad AI. <laughs> it's like that AI is just going wonky today in general. And eat. I'll use plus power to knock out the electrode, I suppose. Because of the, uh, you know, I'll be able to use just one of the food counters instead of two, and then I'll have ex excess for stuff in the future. Though that zap goes, he might just go for the win like that, and yeah. At least that's what I would do. Then again, he could have won last turn anyway, so I don't know. <laughs> Alright. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, I go roll out one food counter for exactly 60 damage. And now Zapdos, right? Dark Knight? I don't know. <laughs> Voltor? Did you just run out? No. I was going to say, did you just run out of energy? No, he did. Why did you just put out the Zapdos to the. I don't know. Well. <laughs> well, he won. But he won like two turns ago. Just Yeah, that was just a total brick of the deck. But yeah, that's why I say to save between games just in case. And I'll show you losing dialogue, I guess. And Chip has won a battle. Sorry if you're lost, Mint. It was an excellent battle, though. That's win number one for Chip. Two more, and it's all over. But bad luck, Mint. Please try again next time. Other reset Game Boy. <laughs> and we're back. <laughs> Alright, let's try that again. That was, that was so, so weird of a game. I mean, you you know I can defeat Chip! <laughs> uh, well, if he start again, I'm gonna star you, I suppose, Spearow, because I want to do the maximum amount of damage, and hopefully I'll get the coin flip first. Thank you. Please don't be Speedball Voltor. Okay. <laughs> um, pop that on there. Bill? Get all the energy this time, hopefully. Uh, I guess I'll put that in play in general. And slap. I think I'll actually be able to bait him out here with the plus power, because it's going to take him a while to power up that Zapdos. Oh, interesting. I thought he was going to immediately go for the Zapdos, but... Nope. Because, yeah, I was, like on the last attack, I was going to plus power him and knock out the Zapdos, but... I don't know, it's like he's going for the... Uh, the Magnemite instead, maybe because it's easier to power up than the Zapdos. Ooh, Professor Oak! Alright, so we're gonna do this, we're gonna do this, and we're gonna do this then, because I, I kinda, yeah, I'm gonna discard that for a water. Just trying to get everything into play, because Professor Oak is by far the better plan to use instead of a surprise plus power in this sort of situation. Look at it's still very low on energy, it's so, so weird. Uh, Hungry Snorlax is going in play, and then Slap for 40. Plus powers, one defender. <laughs> but that defender won't really come into play, I don't think. Uh, microwave could come into play, though, but <laughs> maybe that was his plan to save up for the Microwave of Doom or something like that. Uh, well, I got something that's Doom for you, Hungry Snorlax. <laughs> slap for now, though, and end the turn. He's probably gonna go... Oh! I thought he was going to go for the Magneton for sure. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. I guess saving up that Magneton to be all fresh and, and tidy? I don't know. <laughs> anyway. Uh, I'll put Spiro up because I can free switch it. Hmm. I'm going to put that on there. And... I don't know if I wanna, because it's... <sighs> yeah, the microwave could wipe out the energy on my Snorlax before it's able to attack. Mm, let's do this. Let's hope that he doesn't get my Paris knocked out. <laughs> yeah, Bulbasaur. Just two games in a row I'm having oddities with my deck here. I mean, yeah, sure, sure, I, I, have, I have water Pokémon, but that's not really... <laughs> You know, I, I showed how to beat decks with type disadvantages before, so... Alright, put that in play. Ideally, I'd want him to uh, flip tails again, 
you know, I'd put him in range of one rollout eat combo, so... Thank you! <laughs> and... Hungry Snorlax, I guess, is gonna have to go in, then. As the speediest attacker, I guess you could say. Uh, Bulbasaur and eat. So now we got a 50 attacker. Hopefully that will work out. Oh wait, that... How did you have... I thought you flipped Tails la... Hmm. Did I miss something there? I thought he flipped ta Well, whatever. Now he flipped Tails. Now it's 50. <laughs> yeah, I thought I... I don't know. Maybe I clicked through something too quick or something? I don't know. I'm gonna get that on... Uh, the powerful... Oh, no, 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 no! <sighs> the powerful Slapperoo, but I just flubbed my Snorlax move. <laughs> oh, jeez. And under punch for tails, so that's that's kind of fine, I guess, because of the rollout. But I'm still taking 30 extra damage I wouldn't have already taken normally. So yeah, well, that was my own flub of a misclick, but I still think I'm in decent shape here. Uh, put that on the Bulbasaur. Maybe I can get an Ivysaur going. If not, I got something that's not weak to lightning. So, alright, <laughs> so just. Regular rollout, no counters. <laughs> it did 10 damage to itself. Okay, Bill is nice. Uh, wait, why that? Why that there? I mean, why that Magneton? It doesn't do... yeah. It doesn't do, uh... Enough damage to knock out the Snorlax. And what did you move that to? Uh, the Staryu. That actually might be useful to me, depending on the situation. But anyway, I'm <laughs> draw two, seeking double colorless. Ooh. That tells me Paris is gonna be up next, or Paris sect, I should say. Um... Oh, no, no, I did... I flubbed it again because it moved the energy... Uh, it moved the energy and I wasn't supposed to attach. Well... <laughs> Oh, jeez. This is just like a, a total bust of a game here, I gotta say. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm kind of stuck because I don't have any more in <laughs> And I plan on having a nice 50 damage on the Dark Magneton and then finish it off with something else. No, 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 just... <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay, we're gonna go, I suppose, to the... Bulbasaur instead, because... Oh, energy removal, that might change a bit here. Yes, yes. And I'm gonna put that on there, because I can... One one energy one energy card switch the Bulbasaur, so... I can use that to finish off the Dark Magneton if an energy card is moved. So, we shall see. Ah, uh, potion, of course. <laughs> oh, you don't have any more energy, though. I will take advantage of that. Um, wait, I should go for Seeking and Razor Leaf. Alright, I think, think we're back in semi-control here. <laughs> Potion. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> this, is, this is such a stupid battle. <laughs> just every, every way, it's just... <laughs> oh, jeez. Um, I might as well put Starmie in play. Professor Oak, try and increase our options, and hope he can't do 40 damage outright. I don't think he can, because, yeah, the microwave is, uh, oops, the microwave is out of range, there's the fly, he might, he might go for that, or, but not the Thunderbolt here, see that, that, you know, double colorless, but I don't think he actually has that, come to think of it, because of his specific rule on lightning energy, that you have to have only lightning in his deck, I mean, in your deck, so, yeah, he, he, he has his deck set up the same. Uh, oops, that's right. Alright, Razor Leaf. <laughs> that Dark Magneton is really hanging in there. <laughs> and I probably should switch over to Parasect on the... Uh, my neck lines. Uh, I should switch over to Parasect because of the uh, uh, safety of the extra HP. So, Retreat, Parasect. Just in case of the other Magneton's Microwave, I'm going to attach an, ex an extra energy onto Parasect because... It'll prevent the issue of uh, double colorless from moving on to something else and setting me up for a lot of issues. Oh, that flying Pikachu might be game over for him. If he flips tails... Okay. 
As, as I say, if he uh, flips tails on the flying Pikachu, uh, you know, if he uses fly with the flying Pikachu and flips tails, uh, or just gets tails in general, I could always just attack with the uh, Ivysaur that I've got and wipe him out, seeing I can get it powered up and the like, but... Well, should I... Mm. Oops, actually, what I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a fresh Bulbasaur in play. Just for the sake of safety and HP. And... I got a gust of wind. Something else like the Voltorb, so it's not as disruptive as the Pikachu, I suppose? Maybe? Possibly? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> we shall see. Oh, man. Uh, I might just gust of wind that. Then on Bulbasaur, Ivysaur in play. And yeah, let's try the Gust of Wind for that Voltorb with no energy. Sure, it's Speedball Voltorb, but it's not like it's... Yeah, you won't be able to set up the Flying Pikachu quite as easily. And call it a turn. So if he doesn't switch, I win because I switch over to Ivysaur. Imposter Professor Oak. I've already got enough energy cards for the Ivysaur, I would say, so... Should not be any sort of ire getting another one for that last uh, 40 points of damage. Indeed, it was not. So, we retreat, use the water instead. That's, you know, because the match is the Pokemon type of the grass, let's so leave that attached. And. Vine Whip. Yeah, that was dumb. <laughs> so, so dumb. <laughs> but, but yeah, that. Just the whole battle, like both battles with Chip was just dumb in general. Congratulations, Vintas emerged the victor. <laughs> I don't feel like I've won that one. <laughs> what bad luck, Chip. Please try again next time. <laughs> Alright, I might have finally announced the GR Cup's new champion, Mint. Thank you, thank you, and Dark Persian is mine! Very, very cool artwork with Giovanni's eyes in the background. It's kind of hard to tell on the Game Boy, but if you see the in real life card, yeah, you can see it clear as day. It's exactly like the other regular old Dark Persian. Flip a coin if heads, choose on your opponent's bench Pokemon and switch it. And the Poison Claws if heads, if any Pokemon is now poisoned. So yeah, it's everything like the regular a Dark Persian that you get from the booster packs, only it's got a special artwork in promotional card form. Mint, once more, congratulations! Thank you! <laughs> uh, yes, I... I did my best, I have no regrets. <laughs> With that, I'm gonna end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part, when hopefully I don't do that many more flubs. 